Hello, and welcome to the Consider Your Mind podcast. I'm your host, Eric King, and along with my co-host, Mino Pachan, we're here to talk about all things mental health. Let's get into it. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Consider Your Mind podcast, episode number 15. Last week, we had our special guest, Leela T, here, uh, speaking about her, you know, dealings with mental uh, uh, mental health issues and PTSD and whatnot. Uh, she pretty much tells us her story. She's a musician, an actor, and does all the influencer stuff. So if you get the chance, go ahead and check out that episode. This man, for sure. And she's also the first female on our show. Mm-hmm. So it's nice to get a different perspective as far as that yeah. goes. And yeah, man, it was great to have her out here on the show. So if you guys missed that episode, go ahead and check that out. And this week, what will we be talking about? Yeah, this man, week, we yeah? got uh, this week. We'll be touching on a topic that I wrote on on the ConsiderYourMind.com blog. If you haven't checked it out, please do so. ConsiderYourMind.com. Um, on our blog, we have um, articles written by myself and my co-host Mino, um, dealing on various mental health issues and topics. And this one um, I just released is on escapism. Um, the article is called "Escapism: Running from Our Lives." And what kind of inspired this is our conversations that me and you have had, man. We've touched on uh, some different things. Um, just on the back end, you know, having conversations where this thing all started. And one of them, we talked about the metaverse, you know? Yeah, that's that buzz where, you know, and it, and it got me kind of thinking about, like, why is everybody so excited about the metaverse besides it looking cool? It's because they see the possibility, like, you know, people are already wanting to escape out of their lives, you know, wanting to be entertained, you know, wanting to be their avatar, really. And so now this is an opportunity for people to really do that. And so it just, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, oh, that's why, you know, we've been numbing out so much already. Now this thing's got some structure and some flash and some, you know, tech to it, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, the metaverse is, for those that don't know, it's just pretty much a virtual world and virtual reality. Um, I've dabbed into it a little bit. I recently got myself an Oculus, yeah, too. Everybody did at Christmas, and, it seemed uh, like. <laughs> <laughs> it was it's definitely interesting you know i'm a i'm a pretty big gamer myself but you know the virtual reality is very very different uh you get kind of lightheaded at first when you're not used to it because mind you you are covering your eyes with like this uh, face cover type of deal and the screen is inside and uh yeah it moves how you your hand moves mm-hmm. uh if you're playing a shooting game, you could pick up the gun. You would have to unload the clip and cock what? it back and everything like that. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Yo, and, I didn't uh, even know that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's technology, man. It's, it's definitely it's crazy. You can even watch Netflix in the virtual world. You're just set in like a movie theater setting. It's weird. And uh, See, This yeah, is not man, an advertisement it, for Oculus. They're not, they're not paying us, okay? This is not an advertisement <laughs> for the metaverse. You just made that sound real cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, for those of you, it's, it's, it's definitely. I could see it being a big part of the future, mm-hmm. of especially getting escaping from daily life. Mm-hmm. I mean, I game to escape my daily life. Mm-hmm. You know? So yeah, touching on what you, yeah, yeah, man, touching on what you just said again. What what do we do to escape our daily lives? You know, the scheme, the theme of escapism, the reason I you know wrote on it was again obviously our conversations, but we do it all the time. I find myself escaping into my video games. Um, escaping into, you know, TV series, you know, binge watching. I believe, you know, that's mm. become so popular because you can get lost in something, you know, for a while. And, you know, in the article, you know, re- you know, briefly it says escapism is defined as an avoidance of unpleasant, challenging or threatening aspects of reality. You know, so it's not just straight hedonism where you're just looking for pleasure, you know, to maximize that all the time. But it's more of an avoidance of something you're trying to get away you're not necessarily going towards something, but you're trying to escape from something you're already in. So it's it's a, it's it's interesting because it reminds me of why another topic we brought up, you know, earlier in uh, earlier um, podcast, the topic of you know marijuana. Why is it becoming more legal? Why is it becoming more accepted? It is a, getting high as a form of escaping. You know, we all know this, um, and it's just becoming more and more acceptable for be like, yeah, do that. <laughs> you know, get up out of here. You know, escape. I mean, I feel like it's it's a uh, you know just like anything in, in moderation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? absolutely. Video games too. Uh, Everything you know that um, yeah. it talks about things that we you know use to you know pacify ourselves. Social media, hours of watching television, alcohol, you know, food. Again, these are all you know any type of you know 
delve into that world of addiction and a piece of it, you know, when you don't understand the purpose of something, abuse is inevitable. So if you don't understand the purpose, you know, food is to nourish you and not just, you know, entertain you, make you feel good, give that dopamine rush, well, then you'll overeat. If you don't understand that, you know, the purpose of any, you know, thing in your life, then you overuse it, overdo it, misuse it, and then leads to abuse, you know? And yeah. I mean, as for you, as I'm, escapism, what are some of the things that you that you use to escape from your man. from your uh, everyday oh, life. Man, you're just gonna come straight at me. Days like get that. long and hard. You just need to go somewhere. You know what? What's what's your thing? Um, you know what? It varies, but it has been since the pandemic. Video games. I wasn't a big gamer, you know, before that. But I used to, you know, play games on my phone sometimes. You know, I kind of got out of it in college. But once the smartphones came out, you can play really cool games on your phone. And I would tend to notice, and every any time I had a stressful situation, all of a sudden I'd be putting a lot of time on this little bitty game you know, of mine, you know, like little racing games, a little, even had football, mad, something I'm interested in and it's cool, but all of a sudden you develop a little, you know, pattern. All right, when stuff gets rough, I have a pattern, all right, I'm going to escape in this thing. And next thing you know, hours go by. And so when the pandemic hit, mm. you know, it, it was like, okay, I had a chance to escape from the stuff that I really used to like a lot. Like, you know, my nerd car is about, about to be pulled, but people that know me, like, I like Pokemon, you know? A lot actually, mm -hmm. and they got the new. I'm afraid to buy the new poke. Here's here, it's so bad. I'm afraid <laughs> to buy the newest one because it's really cool. It's like finally, you know, in the open world aspect of it, you know. Mm -hmm. So, all those the repetitive, you know, addiction of raising your Pokemon, all that stuff, got to catch them all, all that stuff. Now, there's an <laughs> open world aspect to it, and I'm just like, oh my goodness, this is tailor made. You, you know, that me to just that lost, slogan that man. Pokemon has. That slogan that Pokemon has, gotta, gotta, gotta catch gotta them gotta all. Catch I don't think all. that's possible. Yo, and I've never done it. People have been trying for years. I don't think anybody has ever said, hey, I caught yeah, them not, all. Not after, man, there, there's thousands now at this point, man. It seems like there's a thousand Pokemon, so it's very difficult to do. But there are people, just know, there are completionists out there, you know? I just know one Pokemon, man. That, that's that's my go-to buddy, man. It's Pikachu. Pikachu, there you go. Before we got on here, the original. Bro, I was playing Pokemon Yellow. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even go like <laughs> old school, man. I'm talking about 1998, 99, you know, stuff that I just used to like Is that as a the kid. Game Boy? Yes. Is that Yes, game that's Boy? the Game Boy. Wow. But now, you know, I got like 3DSs. I got, again, Pandemic, man. I got into these little retro games. And, you know, so I still play them. You know, it's still fun to me. Yeah. But and it's almost the nostalgia of it, the comfort of, you know, when life was simple, when I could just get lost in here, raise my little Pokemon, and catch them all and feel accomplished. And so that's when... You know, it really resonated with me when it says you're trying to avoid unpleasant or challenging or threatening aspects of life. These things aren't threatening to me. That's very familiar. Actually, I'll play the game, beat it, and start playing it again. That's why we do that stuff. You get good at it. Mm -hmm. You get, you know, my efforts are getting rewarded. I can. You feel like you have some semblance of control that you really don't have in act, actual reality. Mm -hmm. You know? And I mean, it's a good, it's a good escape. I mean, again, you're playing games. You, if you have anything that you can escape from reality, anything that you do, whether it's the gym, playing games, going for a walk, mm -hmm. you know, whatever it is, rollerblading, dancing, mm -hmm. you got to have some of these things in mm -hmm. your life. I mean, it's so important for your mental mm -hmm. health because it's like without any outlet, you're just you're stuck. It's, I've been there before, and it's it's not a fun feeling. Nope. And you just got to find something, you know, you don't have to fall in love with it, but at least try something. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, it was the gym. There was a time in my life. I was when about I to was bring that up. The, the gym. gym too. You know, the gym was such a stress reliever, a great stress reliever. And it does your body mm -hmm. good. You know what I mean? And once you get a good workout in after that workout, it's the most satisfying feeling, at least for me, I feel like you accomplished something like, like you did something, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, you're exhausted, but you're, it's a good exhaustion. It's that good tired, you know, like, and then the food tastes a lot better after the workout. You think about relaxing it, relaxing your muscles. feels better. <laughs> yeah, relaxing feels better after a workout. Mm -hmm. Sleep better. You know, you relax all day. You, you just, you just, that's, that's how you feel. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not satisfying anymore. It's like, man, I relaxed all day, man. I want to go do something, right? Like. It's just relaxing everything after a good workout, after putting in a work on something and get your mind focused on other things that, you know, can bring you happy and joy. Go do it. It's good for you. Trust me. No, you ain't lying. You talked about that's probably of all of the ways to escape or, you know, some people would say cope, you know, coping with life, coping with your stresses. And what do you use to cope? 
Um, that's probably one of the best ones there is. You're right, the gym. But again, like anything brought to the extreme, it could be unhealthy. But that one's hard, you know, that, yes. but it, it does, the benefits far outweigh, you know, the um, the risks, as opposed to people who escape through illicit drugs, you know what I'm saying, hard drugs, you know, alcohol, things like that, where, you know, the the there is, there are no long term benefits to those first off, <laughs> and the short term mm. escape, you know, isn't worth those long term consequences, you know. But I think um, going back to what you just said, what what it's really all about is feeling accomplished. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that's that's the main thing. I mean that's that's why you get up every day to to get something done, mm. to go do something, whether it's eating breakfast that's still a, a task that needs to be done you still gotta get up go get go to the kitchen mm-hmm. make up some food and enjoy the meal right and then on to the next thing on to the next thing mm-hmm. you know like whatever it may be you're having things that you could do and look forward to and then when you just get stuck in that routine it gets dull you need an outlet right yeah. what's the other thing that you do I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna step away from the desk mm-hmm. it's been four hours you know la da let me go Walk around the house just to walk around, you know, like I mean, any type of outlet that you have. Well, yeah, I find for myself, I, I can get stuck in a rut. You know, like they say, an object in motion stays at motion. I'm sorry, and an object at rest mm-hmm. stays at rest, you know, unless it's acted upon. And so I do feel like I, I see exactly what you're saying because um, even to what you, even what you just said, going to the kitchen, fixing yourself food actually, and, you know, being more involved and engaged in your life and your daily life, taking care of yourself, you know, it's... Sometimes for me, I'm just saying me personally, sometimes I really can get stuck in a rut. I will find myself playing video games. And I talked about this with a coworker, you know, those open world RPGs or something. I'm sitting there hunting, killing, cooking the food, my, you know, worried about my character's health. And all of a sudden I'm like, man, I haven't even eaten today. Mm-hmm. Bro, right? I mean, you worry about more of the characters than yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. It, it happens. happens, man, where you it can happens. actually get lost in that stuff and you start to... Uh, neglect yourself, you know, escaping mm-hmm. from, again, challenging mm-hmm. instead of actually working out myself. Hey, man, you know what? It is easier for me to build up my character's levels and, you know, get them their stats all, all right. strong. And I know there's an end to that. I know there's a goal that I can achieve, you know, as opposed to myself. I'm not sure even if I do do all this, even if I do lift all these weight, even if I do, is it really going to achieve, you know, what I want it to? You know, it's funny you say that because when I started out at the gym, like, I would find excuses not to go. Yeah, of course. You know, because I wanted to play video games. Oh, this the new duty just came out. Man, <laughs> I, I call it duty life, I yeah. Gotta, I got to get leveled up, you know. I got to get my guns. And it's like, so what What got me getting out of that rut of just playing games and games, like, hey, let me earn this time because I love video games. Let me earn this time. How can I earn it? Go to the gym first. Go for an hour, and I could pay the rest of the night. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? like earn it and it's like for me having that i had to tell myself i like all right i go on adventures and i play rpg games okay that's your joint rpgs you know i get it yeah like let, 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 yeah so i was like how do i get to the gym let's 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 just trick myself into thinking that's the game my my life is the mm. game you know like i could get i'll i'll level up at the gym <laughs> i'll get my gains right the healthy way of thinking of it what you really should be doing right so this week this week I'm trying to gain a pound of muscle. Let's see if I could do it. You know, if I could do it, then it's like equivalent for me playing a game for like three hours and leveling up in there too. I could do both, but first, let me go to the gym and get that goal done. So I was like, I had them turn things into games for me. Like that's that's the only way you make it fun, at least for me, because I was always a competitive person. Yeah. But since I can't play sports and play a competitive level that I used to, I guess this would be like the next thing for me to do is just play games and go to a gym and challenge myself that way there you go and so again you weren't using the gym for you know escapism purposes because that's avoiding challenges no you actually use it as a way to enhance the challenges and as to your point you said that's part of your personality type you know you're a competitive person you know i've been on the sales floor with you oh yeah (laughs) (laughs) you know you are definitely that's what kind of feeds that aspect of it but you know what about those people out there that honestly they that's uh threatening to them they're, they're afraid to fail because in the game, if we do what we're supposed to do, if we, you know, do this many steps, if we do, you know, kill this many bad guys, if we get to this, whatever, then we're rewarded with this prize and it's guaranteed. But mm. 
in reality, and when we do, you know, realities of life, just because we get the degree, just because we get the job, just because we get the money, just because isn't actually guaranteed, you know, us any happiness. You know, it's not really guaranteed mm -hmm. us, you know, anything. And so I think that's a lot of times what people are looking for when we escape to these things that we know we're going to get this reaction from. You know, we can count on it. It's dependable. You know? Yeah, man, that's, that's wild. Now that I think about it, you know, like, how many times do you have an escape but you don't really, really realize it, mm -hmm. you know? Like, even I would consider just finding something that, that you can escape into can go a long way as far as keeping your sanity, mm -hmm. you know, keeping your mental health in check and just keeping a positive mindset is always, I guess, keeping the mind occupied enough to the point where it's like, you know what, I I can, I can do this, I guess I could just step away and take time to myself, mm -hmm. just relax, you know, something that brings me joy. Yeah. Whether it's reading or whatever, you know, just an escape can help you a long yeah. way. Reading's a healthy escape. But again, we don't uh I don't want to mention things that have gone on uh in the news that everybody kinda knows about because I'm such a big fan of this person. But I've seen the celebrity world, why we're so into it, why we're so into the TikTok, why into what they're doing, what they're doing at these award shows, all of that, because as soon as that hits, that provides an escape too. I noticed a new escape, this media, this entertainment thing, you know. Uh, we talked a little bit about binge watching earlier. I think, you know, that's an escape for people to get lost in, get lost in the squid game, get lost in the um, tiger, the world of Tiger King and all this stuff, you know, hmm. to really binge it out and get lost in that. But I think now we, we have to start to see, like, the news cycle, the celebrity, like, news cycle. It, it was the war, you know, that's going on, that's still going on. You know, we can just binge out and we can watch the news and all this negative stuff all day. Look at what's happening over there. It can entertain us. Well, hey, man, that happens in the entertainment world and in what we're so invested in all these people's lives and what they're doing to each other that all of a sudden when they do something, we can literally, you can go into a vortex of just talking about that thing, talking about these people's issues that you're never going to meet. <laughs> They'll never help you, never have an effect. You're going to spend more time looking at what they got going on and why they did what they did and such and such. And you ain't even caught your, you know, family members this week or nothing. <laughs> right. That's wild. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, you know, you know, let's jump back right real quick. And you said, you know, I was just thinking about this. You said the metaverse. Mm -hmm. Have you yourself tried anything virtual reality? Like uh, no, man, I haven't. Um, everybody around me has had it, but nobody around, everybody around me, social media wise, see, that's the world. Nobody actually around me has had it. Um, I live with my cousin. He's a little older than me, so he's not into the video games, um, even even least than I am. But I've seen everybody on social media. It seems like everybody I know has tried it. And so in a way, I feel like I have, and I think I like it too much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? I think, hey, man, I'm, I'm, it's, I'm in it's, therapy with y'all people, okay? I'm not. <laughs> I, fun, I can man. escape into I'd a like... 2D universe on a Game Boy screen. You give me too much, boy. Imagine doing that in 3D Man. and actually being in there and actually catching the Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Exactly, bro. That's what I'm like. And hey, but I, there is one story I heard about the metaverse that got me interested in me when I was writing this was with 2 Chains. You know, I'm listening to a podcast that he was on, you know, 2 Chains, the rapper. Mm -hmm. People don't know. I don't know where you've been. But he was talking about how he went to his friends. He had his friend had the little Oculus thing, so he uses his real quick to go into the metaverse. He's walking around as his, as his friend, so nobody knows it's two chains. And so there's a concert in the, the metaverse, and he goes to the concert and he's performing. Two chains is performing, like actually, yeah, two yeah, chains? two chains, and he, like real yeah, life yeah, two real chains? life two chains is performing, but in the metaverse, right? And he said he had forgotten that month, you know, a while ago, he got paid to do this show in front of all these cameras. You know, I guess the way they set it up, they put all these different cameras and camera angles in front of you. And then you go ahead and perform mm -hmm. like you normally would and record it. And then now they're, they're, they're playing that in the metaverse. And so he said it was wow. crazy watching himself. He's like, yo, Tony, you know what I'm saying? Like trying to almost get his own attention, <laughs> you know. Um, but and it's something he forgot he did. 
you know, but it's wow. But he, yeah, he's going to his own concert in the metaverse, and and being that he's not himself in there, you know, talking around, he's like, hey, you two going up to people at the concert or people in the metaverse and saying, hey, you a two chains fan? And they're like, no, not really, I just came. He's like, oh dang. <laughs> So you can still get your feelings hurt in the metaverse too. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's wild, man. Like people are buying up like real estate, yeah, like for real. Mm-hmm. Like they're spending real money to buy some virtual mm-hmm. reality uh, land mm-hmm. so they can build stuff. There. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, okay, now, now that's kind of taking the fun out of it for people that don't no. kind of spend the money, yeah, yeah, and want to build stuff. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's wild, man. Like it's really. People, we for real gonna be like, I don't know if y'all seen this show called Sword Art Online. Nah, it's I'm an anime, it. and uh, it talks about that. It's like they live in the virtual reality world and they plug in to play games, but if they enter that game or something like that and they die there, they die in real life. Mm. Dang, that's like the Matrix for real. Like you said, what happens if you die in the Matrix? Yeah, you know, with the body can't yeah, survive without the mind. You know. Uh, with virtual reality and everything and people doing VRs, I can see that mm-hmm. being a possible future. No, that's true. And as because, to, to your point, people spending real money, what if you're, what if you do have a lot of money, but you really don't have no social life or something like that, you know? It's already started, you know, man. And then you can, the, you're the man. Transactions of, with video yeah, exactly. Games. And so that's what I'm saying. A lot of times, they do have better lives. We do, our characters, our avatars, you know, these RPG they games better. Are, le- are better than we are. We have made people get lost in 2K. Oh, how could we not Real mention 2K? Avatar, man. Hold on. Oh, how yeah, could we not mention 2K? Um, and then for the ladies, their version of that is Sims, apparently. Um, yes. Really? That's what I hear. Again, I knew Sims? I know a woman too. She was big on Sims, bro. I'm talking about did spent That's real that. money, has whole now, like stories that she puts on Instagram. It's a serious thing about Sims. I know what yeah. Sims is, but I, I can't imagine people playing. Bro, people are doing everything like in Sims. They're having sex. They're having babies. They're having all this life. <laughs> I promise you, no. it's That's when, when she showed it to me. I was shocked, bro. I was like, whoa. Like, no, like, like I'm dead ass serious. Like These people are really having whole lives. Every piece and part and aspect of your life can be done in Sims. So I might have to look. So all up, these man. people with these <laughs> fantasy Yo, relationships, what? you know, wanting to be poly, wanting to be ah. such and such. Yo, they're doing it Jeez. in there. They're for real living up the wild. Absolutely. Dreams. Just like, again, what is 2K? As guys, man, we all want to be NBA player. Everybody wants to be a ball, now, a little bit taller. All of a sudden, if, I saw a man. Yo, I was, it freaked me out because I didn't know you could do this. If you have an affair online in Sims, would they count it still as having an affair in real life? I mean, if you're spending that much time online on Sims, you ain't got no partner in real life to worry about, probably. <laughs> That's and they got a different right partner there. in the game. That, that's what you call in the complicated. Metaverse. <laughs> get a divorce yes, in Sims. Yeah. You got to divorce your Sims. And I can in see order people doing that too. Because you got people. Yeah. Because you got people like hooking up, like playing video games now. Like some people have met each other mm-hmm. playing online. No, no, absolutely. You know what I mean? So it's it's wild. Mm-hmm. Man. Absolutely. It's a whole life that people That's the are beautiful living. thing about it. Yeah. Because you get to play and meet people across the world, mm-hmm. which is awesome, I think. It's like traveling the world without really traveling. Mm-hmm. The closest. The, but that's what the metaverse mm-hmm. is for. The, the closest I saw with that, again, this is. Um, Again, my nerd them. I was playing Animal Crossing. Okay, Animal Crossing. Not even the new one, the the one on the Switch. It was the one on the 3DS, because people are still on it, and they have like this little place called the island. You can go and you can interact with other people from around the world. Like y'all can play games together. You, they can like drop off gifts. Somebody had like hack. You know, some people hack the thing, and then so they just like, hey, I hacked this. Here's these golden flowers or something. Here's this extra money you can just have. Like people are living still in. You know, they're the man in, in that place. They're generous to that. Like, they probably got yeah, off of that and, like, said they gave to charity. That's the way it felt because they had hacked the game and can give some people something that they would have to work for normally. And, and I'm just like, wow, weird. man. I'm not going like, to lie. And they really take it seriously, too. Like, they're like, hey, bless you with this, I'm my child. Lie. A lot of it sounds interesting. A lot of it sounds interesting. Mm-hmm. And, like, I can see myself being addicted to it. Just the fact that it's like a video mm-hmm. game. Set in like almost like a role playing style. Absolutely, yo, it I really love. Is. That's why. That's a, that's, that yeah, is. Once I got on it, it's I understood it immediately. Game. Once I started building my house, building my little town, and everything, you're the mayor of the town. That control, man. All of a sudden, I was the mayor. I had authority, and things that I did mattered. You know, I said we're gonna build this. We build it. Yeah. I can go get this. There's what's sad is that people actually do that in real mm-hmm. life. People that have money and made mm-hmm. money. That's that's what it feels like. I can see how making money becomes addictive. No, absolutely. Because you be like, oh, I, could, I could build my house mm-hmm. now. 
oh, I could buy some land. I'm going to build a strip mall. Make me money. I'm going to buy this complex and build apartments. Mm -hmm. But the difference between that stuff, it actually, that's that's stuff that involves other people in the economy. You know, you have to get the people in the contract to build and build and build. So there's there's relationship built in the real world. However, online... talking about instant gratification. Yeah, exactly. You know, you get that interaction with people. You get in real time to see, you know, uh, what you're doing. But online, it really is it, for real. It doesn't count here. And that's the issue. You know, once we log off, once we get off, and that's why people don't want to log off, don't want to get off. They had that Ready Player One movie, um, you know, a couple of years ago. You know, ago. people keep telling me to watch Yo, it. Yo, man, like, in Hollywood tells you out. what's going on I and mean, what to expect and what's coming up. What's it called? Ready Player Ready, Ready One. Player and one? it was a Spielberg movie, Steven Spielberg. And it was literally about that. People escaping into this, um, you know, game. And that's where they really were living their lives. And so, again, not to spoil it all the way, man, but at the very, very end of it, there's a decision. Don't tell me. Don't say it. Nope. I don't want okay, to. Okay. Fine, fine. If you're really going to watch it now. See, look, all this. See, a spoiler alert for a movie that's been out for years. See, ah, uh, I hate that. But hey, it, it happens. happens. Yeah. I'm I'm not a movie guy. That's that's the reason why. Okay. Like I hate. I mean, I like movies, but I hate them at the same time. <laughs> Take too long. Like I'm more of a sh yeah. I'm more no. I'm more of a shows mm -hmm. guy. Like that character build up the the story because you don't want the story to end when it's good. You know, I was sad when Friends end. Wow. You I was said sad when friends. How I Met Your Mother end. Okay. Yeah, man. <laughs> friends. I hated Friends when I first when it first when Friends was popping. I didn't watch it. I started watching it after it was done. You Cause I got into you know what? Hey man, well, since we sidebarring, that's how I was with Sex in the City, bro. Sex what? in the City. I didn't watch that till I was in college. After it was already gone off HBO, it's on TBS now, all watered down. And I really started getting into it, man. So again, I've never all cool Sex cards taken. I'll be playing Pokemon, Animal Planet, Animal Crossing. I, you know, I used to watch uh, Sex in the City. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, but there, but you could really get engrossed in people's lives. To your point, with a series, actually, it is a, it's more engaging. That binge watch thing, that on demand thing. Um, oh, I've been. I'm a binge. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it, and it really is. You get you get a pattern. You get a routine, and you you get engaged, and you feel like you know something. You get to know some people, get to know some characters, and feel close to them, but without actually ever having to deal with them. You know, it's like a relationship that, you know, it's like a, it's like almost like a one sided relationship where we get all the entertainment from these people's pain, but never have to deal with it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm just saying that's what we're really doing because we watch messed up stuff. Yes, yeah, and again, true. speaking of non spoilers and should have watched, just talking about binge watching Netflix, I haven't watched Squid Games. Why? Oh, because, exactly. See, I, it took me forever to watch. Also, I mentioned earlier Tiger King on there. Yo, I'd be late to the party because I know when I get there. I, could, I couldn't get into Tiger Yo, King. Yo, I, I had to take a break midway because once I knew somebody was going to die, I was like, oh, Lord, that's just going to go bad. But I'm like, when it, but once I see somebody, I see a trend you know, on it. Maybe it's the way my mom raised me. Never go see stuff on opening day or never never get stuff when it first comes out. You know, you don't want to be involved in the crowd and the rush. Um and it's going to be there. But it's just one of those things I know. Because I get, can get lost in a dang video game on my phone. Because it's easy for me to get lost in, you know, old things and nostalgia that I like. Because it's easy. I guess maybe I just have that addictive type personality. I will really keep watching this thing. I will really You're finish it. Yeah, yeah, and again, it's one. <laughs> I told it. I think we all are. Yo, and I told point. it in my, um, the, one of the reasons I went to therapy, started the show and everything like that, was because I would. I could escape very easily. I was not present in my last relationship. It was very easy for me to uh, to check out, um, and so I'm I'm talking about this, but I'm really talking about myself as things that I need to you know definitely watch out for. And this world is not making it easier, you know. I think I, I think mm -hmm. I'm holding back, but as y'all see, but I ain't even get in the metaverse. I know I ain't ready. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy, man. With technology and everything, you know, it makes it easy for people to escape. It, it's it's, it's I mean, encouraged. It's a good thing and a bad it's thing. Encouraged, yeah. Because it's like you know, too much stress, man. Like you think about it, even like years, like back in the day, full time was what thirty two hours. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, way and back in the day, you know, before there was hours. a forty hour work week. You know, it did vary absolutely. And some people working 60, 70 mm -hmm. hours a week, bro. Like, man, mm -hmm. I, if 
40 hours, I'm clocked out. It's cool, man. I'm going to live my life. You know, I, I'd rather work to live because, you know, work support the things I like to do. I don't want to live my life working. No, but here's the thing. You just said it. To support the things you like to do and also to support the people you love. That's also a big motivator for people, right? But what if you're one of those people that you never really got to have that stuff? You know, what if you didn't figure out, you didn't weren't involved in all these social groups and activities and figure out you had, were great at this sport and all this other stuff and had friends that related to you to hang out with about that? You know, what if you really didn't develop those relationships? What if you didn't, if you, again, don't have the wife and the kids and the motivation to keep you going out there, you know, to provide for. I think that's part of the issue too. People don't, you know, we have the means, but no meaning maybe. Maybe that's why so many people. That sounds like it's a you problem. No, oh, wow. Like, but no, just come at my I've life. been there, man. Cause I, that's right. When I say that it was cause that's my life right now. And it's, you know, I'm single. I know, you know, kids, no job. But I have other circumstances. That yeah, he has some medical issues. He's putting know, me in that position. Going through a you know season I mean? right now. And it's like, for me, I, I need to find an escape. Because if I don't, my mind, and during the day, I'm spent thinking about how I feel like life, for me, is going to be cut short. And I know it's not, but it, I know also that it is a possibility mm-hmm. because of what I'm going through. So I need to escape that train of thought. I need to escape to, to music, to... Um, even just walking around or just playing video games because I know that I'm doing everything I can right now and I've done the best I can so far. Mm-hmm. And all right now for me, it's just wait because I am waiting on the transplant. Yeah, man. It's just whatever the universe is going to play its role with me, then cool, then I'm just going to sit patiently and wait and continue to do what I got to do. But at the same time, escaping into a video game and you know, just challenge my mind to think about other things. It's mm. it's a great thing because I've been to a place in my life where I couldn't do that, and it's just depressing. Mm-hmm. It's sad, and it get to the point where I was just sick of being depressed, sick and tired of <laughs> being it's, sick and tired. But, yeah, exactly. And it's like once I got to that point, my mindset started to change because you know it's like I keep telling myself, you know, happiness is a choice. It's a choice to do the things that makes you happy. You just got to find it in you. Like, what do you really enjoy? And then just go and do Mm -hmm. it. Forget about what other people think because we spend too much time nowadays comparing our lives to other people. Instagram. It's easier to do than ever. We have too much access to people's lives. Know too much about these celebrities and their lives and everybody else. Yeah, you know, and it's like, for me, I, I don't post a lot of pictures of myself or whatever because it's like, for me, I feel like my time is spent with the people I care about. And, you know, I don't need to post things to say, mm-hmm. oh, look at this, you know, la da da like, look where I'm at, look who I'm mm-hmm. with. You know, it's it's cool if you do. I mean, I know, I understand it's for memories, because Facebook does have that, uh, the thing I, That's true, one thing do, it'll like, bring Facebook. back the memories on you. That timeline, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I like that. that. That's like a, a journal that you don't not really keep yeah. anymore, you know. Five years ago, Sometimes you posted I post things this. on Facebook, yeah, yeah. And just to see what I post in a couple of years, you know, mm-hmm. like, I was like, man. Yeah. It's crazy. It's tight. That's why I, I shout out to Facebook. Yeah, you know, that is a great function. We talk, you know, we've been talking bad about social media and the metaverse and all of this, but that's the function that it does serve. It kind of does remind you of things, of good things, you know, it's not in, yeah, moderation. in, in moderation. That's what everything, man. You know, exactly. Exactly, man. So all things in moderation need a moderation. Escape. <laughs> escape, but don't escape too long. Mm-hmm. Like they say, get high, but you know, yeah, get high, but don't get too high. <laughs> You know, because if we get too high, it's not easy to get. Yeah, unhigh. no, exactly. Is that what Cat Williams was? <laughs> was that Cat Williams? <laughs> yeah, it's that yeah. Cat Williams. I'm trying to come down. It's easy to get high, but it's not easy to get. When unhigh. your babies come around, yeah, you say when your babies come around, your kids <laughs> got responsibilities, and now you go into that point. The reason why it can be dangerous, okay? Again, we want to avoid the challenges, the stresses of life, so we can just get through. But if we're not present enough, we escape too long, then we start, you know, obfuscating those responsibilities. We start letting stuff slide. We start, uh, we get lost, man. Again, spending more time with, you know, people and things that don't matter than those that do. And it's a heck of a balance. It's a slippery slope, you know. You know, it is. Everything needs balance, man. It's Mm -hmm. life. Yin and yang. Mm -hmm. Good and bad. Light and dark. Yeah, but again, we we don't have a lot of balance nowadays, man. It's a world of extremes. 
and, and it's easier than it ever, is. like I said, like you just said, to compare yourself, to just think, you know, okay, it's a wrap, you know, to just to get lost in others' lives, but also get lost into what you don't have. Because I've heard it put like this mm-hmm. before. Some people that grew up poor didn't know they were poor because everybody was poor. They just thought they was normal and yeah. life was hard. But it's only when you start to see that there's something else, you know, that can be very depressing to people. They start to see, hey, man, maybe I'm not living that great of a life. You know, huh? I did that and I did that and I'm supposed to be doing this. But my life doesn't look like that person who's doing that. You know, right. that that's where that breeze. I was watching a um, thing on YouTube, you know, random clip. Um, and it was about like dissatisfaction and feeling disappointed and how that's natural. You know, it's natural to get upset when you feel like you've been you know, done wrong. You're not getting a good deal. And it was they had these two, um, you know, chimps. One in one cage, one in the other, right next to each other. And they had a bowl. One had cucumbers in it on the left. One had grapes in it on the right, you know, in front of each of the chimps. And, you know, the whole thing was, you know, a little experience they do. um, Give the chimp a rock. He puts in the right slot, gives you the rock back. You give him the little snack. So, you know, just training them. Same thing they're doing labs all the time. But for one, he would do the trick. Give him the piece of cucumber. He eats the cucumber. Happy. Perfectly fine. No, (laughs) No big deal at all. Got a little treat. He does it, then, but he sees the guy, one in the cage next to him. He does it, and then he gets a grape. And then, so the other chimp, he's waiting to do it again on the left. He does a little thing. Bam, he hands him the cucumber on his side again. Now, he's not so happy with the cucumber because he looks, he sees the guy to the left of him or on the right side. He does it, and he gets a grape. And so now he's <laughs> like, you know, the the the, eight, the chimp is trying to grab for the grapes. He's Throwing the um Dang. the thing, he don't want to participate no more because he's not getting the same deal. It's not. It, That's yes, wild. It, it's all good because again, before he knew what the other one was getting, it was mm. all good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So there was no. So it even appears in the animal. Absolutely, kingdom, huh? when you have that comparison, when you all of a sudden see, nah, man, you know, there's better out there, or man, I'm doing all this and slaving away, whatever, and. But I'm not getting the same results it's as that other person. Want with all these exactly. Ones, yeah. And to then all but here's the problem is we're just told you didn't see that. Don't look at nothing. Else. What are you talking about? You got a good like mm-hmm. we're just told to be fine. Yeah, okay, well that's them, not you. Right. And and again, it could be the truth, but we're supposed to how not everybody's reacting to that so well and the same. So instead of continuing to go through these motions and get lesser, they feel like they're getting lesser. It's easier to go escape into this place, this video game, this bench, whatever it is, where you know what everybody gets the same. That's 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 more that's fair. Nigga. I did not mm-hmm. know. That. No, again, I just uh, saw it, you know, yeah. recently on YouTube. Like, I gotta look up that experiment and put it in the description box. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to mm-hmm. look that up too. Exactly. That sounds. That sounds crazy. Mm-hmm. No, but but it's real, man. That's some deep psychology, man. And so it's leading to people just being more unsatisfied. I think. You know, our standards of living has arisen. So now we got first world problems, mm-hmm. they call them, right? <laughs> you know, yeah. now we're not worried about just eating instead of just having something to eat. You know, having our cucumber and being happy. No, man, it's been cucumbers and been getting that. Boy, what, what are them grapes, though? There's grapes? <laughs> oh, hell, if I don't get yeah. grapes, I don't want nothing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's crazy to see that, that, you know, that is true, that, the majority always wants what others do mm-hmm. that what they have you know you want what others have and it just it's just human nature mm-hmm. i guess it's you know, oh, i want it too you do it as a kid too like i remember my cousin got a walkman and was like oh i want a walkman mm-hmm. you know like oh this and that for those of you that know what a walkman oh, wow. is oh wow yeah wow man. um yeah just uh, go ahead and look yeah. that up a piece of ancient history there exactly cassette <laughs> tapes but yeah i mean before we before we get going here, uh, tell us more about a little bit about the the blog post that you just yeah, posted. Yeah, again, everybody what, that so. doesn't know, please visit consideryourmind.com. You know, we do have an official website, and there's a blog. Click on the blog tab, and you see on um, various blogs written by myself and my co-host Mino um, about various mental, you know, um, health topics and personal anecdotes, things that we're going through. And one that I wrote recently is called Escapism running from our lives and you know it touches on you know what is escapism why do we do it you know where do we see it show up in our everyday lives and in healthy ways that we can um you know cope with life and um 
deal with the challenges and stresses of life, um, but yet still being present and showing up for life and showing up for those that matter in our lives, actually. And so um, it actually has a nice little link to a, a an accompanying um, blog post by Mino called Keep a Journal. And so, again, that's one of those healthy and, you know, ways and tips that we can, you know, cope again with the stresses that you go through things in this life. You know, we are we are not trying to be escapists and say everything is fine. Hey, just listen to our podcast. Isn't your life better? No, <laughs> you still have to deal with real mm-hmm. things in life and you still have to face the challenges that you do. But there are be- healthier ways to do them than others, you know, unhealthy ways and healthy ways of, of dealing with things. So we don't want to be deniers and say, you know. On participate in escapism. We do it every day, you know. Um, our challenge um, is to be aware of it. Our challenge is to to stay present, to stay here, because as we're covering, man, this world is giving us any and every opportunity to get up out of here <laughs> and not deal with it, and not face it. It sure yeah. is. Oh, damn! Make sure you guys get that chance. Go check out www.consideryourmind.com. Check out the blog post by Eric King there, talking about escapism mm-hmm. and. That should be it from us from this week. Other than that, we'll see y'all next week. For sure, man. Episode 15 in the books. Peace.